developments tonight in the fallout over that controversial speech at UConn that triggered a big scuffle leading to that ultra-conservative speaker's arrest. Tonight we're learning more about the woman who went up and grabbed Lucian Wintridge's speech off the podium. Catherine Gregory has been receiving death threats. She's an administrator at Quinnebog Valley Community College. As News 8's Bob Wilson reports tonight, security is now ramped up there as officials investigate the threats against her. So what we know right now is that at least one death threat did come in through an email. We don't know who it went to, if it went to Katie Gregory herself or if it came to more like a general mailbox here at the institution. But they say they have up security and students feel it on campus. I heard that there's going to be extra security on campus, and I'm not surprised about it, but I am a little disappointed. Inside the Quinnipiac Valley Community College, students are finishing up an advanced manufacturing class. All day long, it's what everybody has been talking about. There's no reason to thread, threaten somebody's life over a piece of paper. The extra security, it's because of the death threats aimed at Katie Gregory. She's an academic advisor on campus, but earlier this week, she snatched a speech entitled, It's Okay to Be White, from a conservative speaker at UConn. It triggered an outburst and his arrest. I believe she's probably getting death threats. It doesn't surprise me. Um, you know, if you're dumb enough to believe that because you're white, you're smarter or better than anyone, you're probably going to give death threats to somebody that steals your paperwork. Gregory has hired an attorney and has not been charged with anything. But students say it's a little unsettling that what happened on the Yukon campus is now spilling over into their school. Why can't we all just get along? I was told that Katie Gregory was not on campus yesterday or today. The security measures in place today might be extended through till Monday. They're going to have to wait and reassess the situation when the new week begins on Monday. We're in Danielson, Bob Wilson, News 8.